In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Mongo's with Node.js. There are two ways to connect Mongo's with Node.js. The first one is you can use MongoDB Atlas. Then the second approach, you can connect local MongoDB server with your Node.js application. I have already created a database. If you have not watched my MongoDB Atlas account video, you can watch that video. Here you can create, uh, in go to the database access, you gotta create a new user. I have created a new user and make sure you download your username and password. This is your cluster. This is the exact database. When I go to the cluster, I don't have any, I think you can also look up your collections. It's going to find all my collections, databases. Right now, we have one database, MongoDB Fundamentals. Inside the MongoDB Fundamentals, we have a users collection. And you can see that we have two users. If you want to create a new database, you can create by clicking on here. Now it's time to connect with Node.js. You need a connection string to connect with MongoDB. I can use the connect. You can select your driver. I have selected the Node.js driver and this is my version. You need to install Mongo's. I'll teach you how to do that. Here is a connection string. You need to download your password. When you created the user, it gave you the DB password. You gotta download that. This is the default cluster and you can specify these options. You can also provide your database name. If you wanna look up how this connection string is generated, you can break down that here. You can specify your MongoDB, local MongoDB or if you want to connect with MongoDB Atlas, then you will use that syntax, right? The first, the second property or the second field is username in a connection string. Third field, DB password. And the fourth field, your default DB. And the fifth field, your options. You can break down your connection string in this format. You can also look up the documentation. MongoDB, the first one, and this one. Username, password, and your default DB, auth source option. And you gotta provide your options. All right. Here is my Node.js application. I'm gonna create a new file, app.js file. What I want to do, I wanna install Mongo's because I need to connect with Mongo's. First of all, make sure uh, you created the package.json file. Let's install Mongo's. Mongo's already installed MongoDB, so you don't need to install MongoDB separately. npm install. It, 
it will take some time to install the MongoDB. Let me require the Mongo's package. You can see it gave me the suggestion of MongoDB because when I installed Mongo's, it already successfully installed MongoDB because under the hood, Mongo's is using MongoDB driver package. Here you can see all of the Node.js related MongoDB methods here. Create method, delete method, all this. So Mongo's is using built-in MongoDB Node.js driver. So Mongo's provide a connection method. So it connection method always returns promise. Mongo's.connect. You gotta provide your connection string here. Let's say connection URI, I can call it connection URI. Here you will provide your connection URI. What it's gonna do, the first argument is URI, which is connection URI. The second argument, which are options. I can, can say connection URI. And I can resolve the promise by then, by then it's gonna call this method. I can say connected, connected to MongoDB successfully. If something went wrong, if we got some error while connecting, I can catch the error and I can log the error. error. Let's build the connection string. You can find that from here, from your atlas. I can copy that. Here you can see the first one is the MongoDB host name or something like that. This is your username, colon, this is your password. This is your default cluster name, like this one. This one, you can find your cluster name here. And these are all the couple of options, right? So I have to replace my password. So I can copy that password from here. Yeah, you cannot use that because I have enabled the IP access. Only my IP can access this database. So you can see the message connected to MongoDB successfully. There is another way you can connect with MongoDB. I can create another file, app2.js. Let's copy everything and I'm gonna paste it here. Instead of using this one, the MongoDB Atlas URI, you can use the local MongoDB, localhost, or you can say 127.0.1. Yeah, here you gotta provide your MongoDB database name. I can say MongoDB fundamentals. I already created that database, this one. Let's see, make sure your local MongoDB server is running. My MongoDB server is running. Node app two. You can see I have successfully connected with MongoDB. If you want to use promise, you can also, or if you want to use async await, you can also do that. I can say uh, connect to DB. Let's wrap everything. And I am going to apply Await expression function connect to db async function, right? So
So it has connected successfully. Let's lock something. Connected to successfully. You can see connected to successfully. You can also ex export that method into your main file, this one, then you can use that.